The UN High Commissioner for Refugees has raised more than a quarter of a billion dollars, that's $250 million from private companies at this year's Global Refugee Forum in Geneva, Switzerland. Money it'll provide use to provide shelter, food and other essentials to about 25 million refugees worldwide. The Swedish furniture giant IKEA is among the biggest contributors. It's spending $111 million over the next five years to train and provide jobs for 2,500 refugees. The Danish toy maker Lego will provide play-based learning tools worth $100 million for children living in camps. While Vodafone's School in a Box program provides laptops and teaching resources to refugee settlements in African countries. The company says the program will expand to reach 500,000 children by 2025. Well, for more, I'm joined by Astrid van Genderen Stort in Geneva, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees there. Welcome so much to the program, Astrid. Now, firstly, this was the first ever Global Refugee Forum. What's your assessment of how the three-day event went? Personally, I think it was a fantastic event. Why? Because there were so many different uh, actors from different uh, um, uh, parts of society. There were the governments, the private sector, civil society, academics, sports organizations, refugees. Everyone he was here gathered to look at a different, a whole of society approach towards refugees. Uh, the problem is we have refugees, uh, traditionally you would think you would have to provide humanitarian aid and help the people in need, but here what we're trying to do is really have a different approach towards uh, supporting refugees, a whole of society approach. Yes, and one of the common themes throughout the forum was that countries that were less wealthy were shouldering more of the burden of the refugee crisis than wealthier countries. What's been done to address that? What undertakings have been made in that regard? Yeah, that's indeed the case. We've seen it, uh, we see it in, uh, in many countries, especially uh, the neighboring countries where big refugee crises are, are, uh, are happening, such as where big, uh, you know, crises and conflicts are happening. So let's say Lebanon is hosting at the moment one and a half million uh, refugees, and it's a country with only six million, uh, million uh, people. So it's incredibly important, first and foremost, uh, to support these countries, support the host communities in, in, in carrying the burden, but also also try to find programs that really can uh, increase the resilience of the refugees by providing uh, employment opportunities or other opportunities, uh, access to education, access to health, so that the refugees can be more resilient to, to also support these societies and bring something back. We don't want the refugees to be dependent, we want them to contribute to societies and not be dependent on them. Not take the jobs, but really uh, bring economic gain also to those countries that host them. And as I mentioned there in my introduction, some of the world's biggest businesses such as IKEA, Lego and Vodafone, they've all uh, undertaken commitments to help with the refugee crisis. Have you seen other companies looking to take part and, and how important is the private sector in helping deal with this refugee problem? The private sector is incredibly important. It's crucial that they commit uh, to helping refugees. It's great. We're already working with, uh, with organizations like uh, IKEA and, and Inca and Vodafone. We have already started to work with them, but they commit us a lot this, uh, this forum. There are 213 pledges. I just checked. I don't know all the details of the pledges, and some are small and some are big, but all are significant. Because the, the private sector has a very innovative way of dealing with, uh, with, with the refugee problem. They look at really, uh, you know, the sustainability, the long-term sustainability, trying to provide access to, 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 um, to, to energy for refugees and host communities, which will can make these communities much more sustainable at a longer, at longer stage. Um, uh, IKEA is offering employment opportunities, which will make the refugees more, more uh, resilient. Um, Vodafone is looking at connectivity, which of course will make them much more independent and, 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 and 
provide them a dignified life. There are, you know, as I said, 200 more uh, from various uh, MasterCard to um, to H&M to various um, global companies, and it's really important that everybody sees the benefit that it's. Yes, financial support still remains very important because we have to help refugees, you know, who come across the border and really provide, give them a shelter. But um, other in-kind support is equally important to give that dignity back to refugees and support the host communities. It sure is. Okay, Astrid van Genderen-Strot in Geneva from the UNHCR. Thank you so much for your analysis there.